tonight I'm going to be actually working on making the waterfall itself and I'm going to be using, uh, going to be using a method I uh, saw on the internet you making the uh, fall itself out of uh, clear silicon rubber sealant so uh, in that in a particular article on the internet uh, this uh, guy was making a uh, fairly tall waterfall and uh, was uh, basically uh, making the waterfall out of this caulk, out of this uh, sealant, and it was just this giant strip that he hung off the side, uh, off the side of a cliff, and that was a waterfall. But this is going to be a little bit different since my waterfall is smaller, and it's going to have multiple little falls streaming off the rocks there, so it's going to be a little bit more complex. What I'm going to start off with is putting a little bead of this on here that and in the particular article I was looking at this guy just kind of took a I can't really took a spatula or whatever and just kind of spread it out lengthwise but uh, I'm going to use a toothpick and actually just kind of tease this out into strands multiple strands like that get them as long as possible kind of like this and uh, I'm using a smooth metal surface here so I'll be able to fairly easily pull this stuff off uh, once it dries once it cures so I'm just trying to make this kind of as stringy as possible I'm actually going to pull it the other way too because I can cut these off Make them as long as stringy as I can. I think I need to make them about at least an inch long. Have them a little thicker towards the bottom and just let them taper like that. And uh, I'll make make quite a few of them because uh, I want to take uh, take and use the ones that look the best or that work the best. So. Like I say, when this stuff dries, when this stuff cures on here, I'll peel this all off and cut them off and arrange them on the fall until I um, get what looks right to me. this stuff dry overnight. I've been giving some thought as to what I'm trying to do and I'm kind of having second thoughts about it. Um, as soon as I get all the stuff off you'll uh, kind of show you what I mean. All right let me get what I got so far. Let's play around with this. You know, as I look at these uh, few pieces of silicon that uh, I've got so far, I'm not sure if I like the idea of using this, really. It's because I don't think it looks that terribly good. I'm going to have to trim these edges off and have them somehow fall into the water, but uh, definitely having second thoughts about using the methodology that I saw on the web. I think it's fine. I think something like that works fine if there's a vertical vertical drop, but this isn't a vertical drop really. It's more of a series of smaller drops. I don't think this method is going to work too well, but one method that I think might I think it will work. Let's just use a uh, squeeze and caulk because that uh, that dries clear first of all, and secondly, I can just I can paint it in layers 
and I can have it flow, paint it so that it flows in between this talus and in the rocks here and have it flow down. I can do layers and make waves and little dips in it and stuff like that. And uh, then when it's time, if I want to make froth, I can do one last quick coat and then use the use cotton balls and cotton and have it stick to it to make a froth at the bottom here. So um, I'm really thinking I'm going to go that route. Um, actually, the next step now is for me to pour the river. Okay. Got equal parts of resin and hardener. And uh, go ahead and put uh, a couple of drops of dye in there. self-leveling so looks like it's gonna creep up the bank fine the way creep around the rock so all I need to do is actually blow on this because it's carbon dioxide through the bubbles. You probably saw the way the bubbles went out. Put exhale on there and it gets rid of the bubbles. I really don't see... Let me take a look from underneath. And, uh... So I can see anything leaking out at all. And I don't see anything flowing out or anything like that. So I'm actually thinking we're... We're doing pretty good. So yeah, so far so good. So uh, so yeah, I think what we'll end up doing is adding some uh, water effects on there, swirling water, because right now it looks completely flat. But uh, we're uh, we're off to a good start. Oh, this is about. Uh, three hours after I poured this and uh, haven't had any leaks at all so that's a good thing I think all that uh, extra work I did to make sure everything was sealed off from underneath uh, paid off so uh, so far so good and uh, I'll probably be doing the rest of the river later this week so Once I get the river completely poured, I'll start working on getting the water to flow over the uh, waterfall here. So, anyway, um, I'll probably go ahead and put another layer on here and uh, use the tinted water, uh, the tinted <laughs> epoxy resin, so uh, make this layer below look a little bit darker. I think so, so I won't uh, use quite a thick a layer on here because I still want the rocks to uh, um, stick out of the water. So uh, anyway, I think things are looking pretty good for my neck of the neighborhood. So and that's what I'm going to be doing next.